if someone's looking to find a supplement, what would the kind of recommended dosage be? And, and would there be an even split between DHA and EPA? The really like the lowest levels are 200 DHA supplemental on top of current intake. And for me, I would rather have both EPA and DHA. So I would just want to make sure whatever my supplement was had at least 200 DHA because now there are supplements with really different profiles of EPA versus DHA. So that's why it's important to make sure you're looking at it and you know you're getting 200 of DHA in that supplement at least. Look on the back panel, look at the serving size, how many capsules is it, and then you add up EPA and DHA or you just look at the DHA amount that's mm -hmm. individual. If it has them combined, I wouldn't get it. Don't look at total omega-3s. That doesn't matter. So a lot of confusion about that. Mm -hmm. 